What's up, guys? Today we're gonna add a new tab to our website. We're gonna have we're gonna add multiple tabs. Now during this process, it's gonna uh, uh, acquire a lot of coding. Um, not so much a lot, but we're gonna do a lot of copying and pasting. It's the easiest way that I found on how to code this. So what you're gonna do is go ahead and open up your file. Um, you should have this saved on your desktop. This should have your index um, and your pre your print style and your images folder. Everything should be here. This is where everything should be saved. Um, I went ahead and made a new uh, tab called Twitter. Um, in this process, I'm going to show you how to add another one. Um, it's actually very easy. It's the same way I added Twitter. So um, the way you can add this, you don't have to name it YouTube is what I'm going to use for right now. Uh, but you don't have to. So we're going to do right click new and we're going to add a text document as you can see right here and click that and we're going to add the we're going to name this YouTube. And we're going to scroll over and we're going to rename the text to HTML and click enter, and click yes. And you can see it made a new HTML um browser. So we're just going to double click that and say it opens up nothing's there just because we still have to copy and paste everything over. So we're going to exit out of that and we're going to open up Dreamweaver. Now, I do recommend using CS5 for this, um but you can do whatever you want. I'm just going to continue my trial and we're going to open up the HTML YouTube file you can see right here. I'm also going to open up Twitter and um, the index file. Um, I'm going to rearrange all these to my liking. I like to have index, Twitter, then YouTube uh, just to tell me uh, what order I'm going into so I know what I'm doing here. Um, I got rid of index by mistake. So what we need to do now um, I recommend getting everything from we need to add the the, the text and the coding. So instead of just going and writing everything uh, that would take forever, uh, we're just gonna go in and scroll all the way down on the index tab. Uh, make sure you're an index on this, and you make sure you have YouTube open. Uh, we're gonna scroll all the way to the bottom where it says uh, slash thingy HTML slash uh, above body. So we're just gonna copy this. And copy every single thing all the way to up to number one, line number one. Everything should be in blue. Hit Control C. Now, once you've done that, you can go to the YouTube page and you hit Control V and click Control Shift S. Enter, enter. We just copied everything over to a new tab. Okay. So once we did that, we can go back in our uh, our new file here and click YouTube. As you see, it looks the same exact thing as the home page. So what we need to do is actually go in, change this, make sure this is going to be our YouTube page, and we need to add it right up here in the top bar. So we're going to go ahead and exit out of this, and we're going to open up Dreamweaver. Uh, what we need to do is uh, go on to your display side, and we're going to rename this text right here that says "Welcome to YouTube." Uh, so we um, don't, so we know that this is going to be a YouTube page, so we don't get confused during the process of making this. Uh, now what we need to do is add a tab on a YouTube uh, page. Uh, for this to order this to work, we need this coding right here. Now what this coding is, uh, this basically tells the tells the uh, website, uh, the HTML program, when it runs, that index that HTML is the home page, classic is the current page, then home that code. Uh, so basically, this is gonna this is gonna be the home page, and this is the current. So current means that's the actual uh, what what page you're on that second. So if we save this and we added it up here, uh, if we click it, it will take everything to the home page. So it will go back to the home page. Um, so you, we don't want that to do that. So what we need to do is go ahead and copy this. Control C. When you go under to the side of YouTube, click Enter. That will add a new tab or a new line. Hit Control V. And what we need to do is actually rename this index to YouTube. And when you go to Keep Classic equals Current, and we're going to rename Home to YouTube. Control Shift S. Enter Enter. As you can see, we added a new page. But wait. As you can see, the home that index that classic current home is the same exact thing. So to fix that, we need to do is actually we can just copy the Twitter tab or the Twitter index and hit Control C, and we can just hit Control V on this, 
and we can add index and we can scroll over to Twitter and rename this to YouTube or uh, actually this is going to be home my mistake now I hit control shift s enter enter now basically what we just did is we added the index at uh, HTML home uh, so if we click the home page it will take us to the home page if we're on the YouTube page it, and the same thing will go with the Twitter so if we're on the YouTube page it will go to the Twitter page now uh, as you can see this is basically what this does is just tells that uh, that the, um, this is the main page that's what the current means that's the main page so what we need to do now is we're just going to copy one of these really here really quick hit control C go to the Twitter page we're going to go enter control V as you can see we added a new tape page but we need to go in and basically what this is going to do is uh, we're going to just add YouTube over here real quick this basically what it's going to tell that uh, there's a new tab on the Twitter page so basically we're just adding the tab uh, on the Twitter page control shift s make sure you do that on every tab if you don't it won't uh, save it hit enter control B um, we can go in here and just change this one more time I should have all this done control shift s enter enter now we're done we added tabs we added the new page we can go ahead and minimize this and we can go into the folder once again if we click index.html this will bring us straight to the home page if we click twitter it will bring us to the twitter page and we'll click youtube once again you can see it brought us to the youtube page so if we click twitter uh, you can see the youtube uh, is there now and along with the home so we added a new tab so make sure you do that process every single time copy the uh, whole entire coding on the home page um, copy all this coding and add a new page make sure you go into uh, the folder right click new as we did in the beginning and make sure you name it to what you want and another thing what we need to do uh, really quick is uh, make go on the um, index save and right up here this is going to be our title so we're just going to title this home control shift s and basically that just tells um, the browser right up here that is that's the home page and it's not named this whatever this is called so we're going to do that we can go into twitter we can rename this to twitter uh, control shift s we should have done this in the beginning but I, I forgot and make sure you do that for every time and this will basically tell it that uh, this is for the this is uh, the youtube page this is the twitter page and this is the uh, home page uh, so that's basically what that does so that's it that's how you add a new tab so go ahead and re re Step those process goes through every single process as we did in the beginning. Go to the folder, add a new HTML page, name it so you want, copy every single thing in the index page, in the index code, and copy it, paste it into the new uh, index file, and go in and change the coding and flip flop them and add the other coding to the other pages to make sure the tab shows up and you're good to go. So ahead and hit that subscribe button right up top. If you have any questions or any comments and if you have any troubles adding a new page, go ahead and leave a comment down below. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Really quick before I go, um, what I want to tell you what tomorrow's video is, I'm just going to use YouTube as an example. What we're going to do is actually change all these links right here. Uh, we're going to add hyperlinks. So if we click one of these, this will click type to YouTube or something. We can change. We're going to uh, change all this. We're going to add pictures and we're at our text and we're going to change our banner and I'm actually going to show you how to change so if we click test for YouTube that will bring us to like a certain website or bring us to the home page things like that so stay tuned for tomorrow and I'll see you guys tomorrow